the a picture of the transverse section in the decalcified compact. This is the decalcified compact bone, this uh, area. On the surface of this bone, you can see the transverse section in the attached skeletal muscles. You can see these uh, more or less uh, uh, rounded uh, bundles of the skeletal muscle. Inside the bone, you can see a lot of fat cells present in the bone marrow, present in the cavity of this decalcified compact bone. If you look at the, this, uh, the area of the decalcified compact bone, you will notice immediately the haversian blood vessels. And surrounding these vessels, we have empty spaces uh, containing uh, cells. These are the lacunae containing the osteocytes. And the matrix, of course, is red in color. Now you can move the slide more. You can see also here the full picture of this decalcified compact bone. This is a decalcified compact bone, the muscle. And this is a uh, uh, separation area, empty space due to separation between the bone marrow and the compact bone. On the other side, the same features the bone with the haversian blood vessels surrounded by smaller size the empty spaces of the lacuna containing the osteocytes. This is the picture. A picture now of the decalcified compact bone. Uh, this is the higher power for the same section decalcified compact bone. You can see here this is the decalcified compact bone, and more clearly you can see the haversian blood vessels surrounded by uh, concentric circles of the lacuna. So these white empty spaces they are the haversian blood vessels. Some contain blood. And the white small areas, these are the lacunae containing the osteocytes. So, by this, you can see the aversion blood vessels and the osteocytes arranged are present in their lacunae. And the surrounding matrix is red in color. If we move the slide more, you can see here more clearly the bone marrow fat cells and the other blood cells present and blood cells in different stages of development. Uh, after we finish that, we can see again the decalcified compact bone, haversian blood vessels, and these are the osteocytes arranged in their lacunae, forming concentric layers around this haversian blood vessel. And these are, of course, the muscles. This is the uh, section of the ground compact bone. As you see here, it is unstained section. And in this section, you can see the calcified tissue only, no living cells at all. You can see the Haversian canal. Don't mention Haversian blood vessel because Haversian blood vessel is a living tissue. So this is the calcified tissue, Haversian canal. You can see also these. Uh, black spaces they are the lacunae and they are black due to the entry of the air giving them a black coloration forming concentric layers around the haversian canal you can see also very clearly the volkman canals which connect the different haversian canals together you cannot see periosteum you cannot see you cannot see the any living cells inside this section just the calcified tissue. So by moving the section you can see the same picture again, aversion canals, lacunae and the Volkman canals. Then by the high power, more higher power, you can
can see more clearly this uh, arrangement the haversian canal the concentric layers of the lacunae and we have also the volkman canals these all these areas which are marked by the black coloration these are the lacunae and this is the haversian canal and these are the volkman canals And this is the picture for the spongy bone. This is a section in one of the ribs. And as you see, you have these uh, spicules of the spongy bone, red in color. And in between, we have uh, spaces filled with the bone marrow cells. So these irregularly arranged spicules of the spongy bone are present in the section and in between we have uh, the bone marrow spaces made of uh, uh, different nuclei of different cells. So all oh, this is the picture of the transverse section in this uh, rib or spongy bone. This is the surface and we can move the slide to see the picture all around. Nothing but these spicules of spongy bone, red in color, and in between we have uh, uh, the bone marrow cells. Within, of course, we have uh, empty white spaces. These are the bone marrow space and covered by the periosteum. We can move the slide again to see the intercostal muscles. Here the intercostal muscles and the second rib. In the other rib also we can see the spicules of the spongy bone and the bone marrow cells in between. When we have a higher power, you can see more details. This is the muscle and this is the periosteum. These are the spicules regularly arranged of the spongy bone with the osteocytes inside and the osteoplast on the surface and in between we have the bone marrow cells this is the center of the rib also the same picture we have the spicules of the spongy bone red in color with the osteocytes in present inside the matrix and the osteoplasts are present on the surface. While in these uh, empty areas or white spaces, we have the bone marrow cells. And these are the nuclei of the different cells present in the bone marrow. Uh, this is a section in the growing bone showing stages of ossification at the metaphyseal plate. Uh, here at the right side we can see the cartilage, the hyaline cartilage. Here are the cells present in their lacunae. And then we will see this area where different stages of ossification takes place. We have first the stage of uh, proliferation where the cells divide repeatedly then the stage of hypertrophy where the cells increase in the size then we have the stage of calcification where the cells will die due to the calcification of the matrix and then if we move the slide slightly you will see the stage of invasion of this area where the cells are dead, invasion by the uh, osteogenic cells and osteoblast, and they will form uh, at first these uh, spicules of the spongy bone in the stage of ossification separated by the bone marrow. And here again, you can see this stage more clearly. Here we have 
the spicules of the spongy bone and they are separated by the bone marrow. Now it is a high power starting now from the stage of ossification. We can see the spicules of the spongy bone we have here inside the osteocytes and on the surface we can see the cells which are the osteoblast and here we have the bone marrow. Move the slide to see other stages. We have here the stage of invasion where the dead cells here are uh, leaving empty spaces invaded by the osteogenic cells and osteoblast. Then we have the stage of uh, here, the stage of uh, hypertrophy where the cells are markedly enlarged in size. And then we have the stage of the proliferation and this is the resting cartilage. So resting cartilage stage of proliferation increases in the number and the stage of hypertrophy increase in the size and the stage of calcification and death of the cells followed by invasion and ossification.